My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent for Walla Walla Schools, and I am delighted to welcome you back to the 2022-23 school year. I have so many exciting updates to share with you. It will be difficult to fit them all into this brief back-to-school message. First, I am delighted to share with our entire community that we hit our bond project target of having all building spaces open for students this fall. We completed our classroom renovations at Wahai, opened up our four new science classrooms and art room at Pioneer, and completely renovated the near century old Lincoln High School. We have hauled off the 28 portable classrooms and completed many safety and security improvements across our various campuses. Over the coming months, contractors will be finishing up landscaping and parking lots as they mobilize equipment offsite and finish up the last of the to-dos across our campuses. I would like to invite everyone to our community ribbon cutting celebrations. Wahais will occur on Wednesday, September 21st from 4 to 6 p.m where a community barbecue and dedication to legendary principal Dick Neer will occur. Pioneers will take place the following Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. as well, followed by Lincoln's on Wednesday, October 5th. Please mark your calendars to come and see the remarkable investment we have made in our schools and the incredible work that nearly 50 local contractors and vendors participated in. As students and families return to school this year, you will notice that we have included an annual student checklist that needs to be completed in Skyward. This should be accomplished before students return to school or as soon as possible. This one-stop shop allows families to ensure we have correct contact information in case of an emergency and also includes important parent communications. It also helps streamline and reduce the litany of paper and pencil forms that often ended up stuffed in the bottom of backpacks or misplaced on the kitchen counter. If you need any assistance accessing Skyward or completing the checklist, please reach out to your child's school. Office staff would be glad to help you. Additionally, we are pleased to report that Walla Walla Public Schools has qualified for the free meals program for all students. This means that every child from preschool to high school will continue to have access to free breakfast and lunches throughout the duration of this school year. As I reflect on back to school messages over the last couple of years, I am so delighted that this communication isn't overshadowed by COVID. And while the virus still lingers and we will continue to follow state guidelines, the energy, excitement and vigor is back in our schools. Fall sports are well underway, staff are busy preparing and planning for student return, and traditional back-to-school pomp and circumstance fills the air. This is encouraging and energizing, and will serve to help us launch what is set to be an incredible school year for everyone. And while the virus appears to be in the rearview mirror, we know that the last two years has disproportionately impacted students and families. To that end, I am pleased to report that, with parent permission and coordination, students will have access to free teletherapy. Through a partnership with Hazel Health, students will be able to access short-term support if their family feels there is a need. This will serve a critical bridge for many families as the wait time can be months before care is available. Finally, I do want to take the time to remind students and families of our need to ensure a safe and orderly school environment. Student safety and learning are the two most important levers that drive our district. As schools slowly open back up following the pandemic, we knew it would be difficult for students, and even adults for that matter, to adjust to doing school again. We provided a whole lot of grace, understanding, and flexibility these last two years. That was appropriate and the right thing to do. And we will continue to ensure a welcoming environment where everyone belongs. However, as we transition away from the pandemic, so too do we need to transition back to a culture of safety and accountability to ensure that all students can learn at high levels and participate in school free from distractions and interruptions. Please talk to your students about the importance of their education and learning. Showing up on time is critical and will be expected. Completing homework and giving 100% every day is essential. And as important as learning to read and perform math, students must also learn the importance of respect, behavior, and accountability. Building grit, determination, and perseverance in our youth is a critical skill set to impart. We are here to partner with students and their families to help make this happen. Together, we can ensure that every student, when they graduate, is prepared with the academic, social, and personal skills that are essential for lifelong success. Remember, the first day of school for 1st through 12th grade students is Tuesday, September 6th. Kindergarten and transitional kindergarten students start a few days later on September 9th to allow for individual teacher-parent meetings and assessments. And finally, Head Start and ECAP preschool students start September 12th. If there is anything, anything my colleagues or I can do to assist you or your child, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have an outstanding school year.